jar of hearts. This sounds lovely. Many of you might remember that a couple months ago we did a review for uh, Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. And in my book club, they were doing like a 48 hour Jennifer Hillier readathon, and I had Jar of Hearts, which was also written by her, obviously. And I had never read it, but a lot of people said there it's a really good book. So I picked it up. I have mixed emotions about this book, which I'm sure is going to be a very unpopular opinion once this review gets out there. But here we go. The main character, and again, as you know, I'm very bad with main character names. She uh, is in jail for being an accomplice to the murder of her best friend, who is found on her property cut up into pieces. But while the murder happened in high school, it took many, many years for them to convict her because she was an accomplice. She wasn't the person that they are pinpointing it on. And that was this other guy who was her boyfriend in high school. He also gets like life sentence in prison. And while she's in prison, he escapes. So he's on the run. So she goes, basically, uh, her seven years that she's in prison and she leaves and she comes back home because the only place she can come is her dad's house. And then some murders start up again, which are very similar to the one that she was an accomplice for. What you don't know is why the first murder happened in the first place, what led up to it, who actually did it. Um, you don't know any of that. And then when these other murders start surfacing, you have to put the pieces together. It is told in a present and a past kind of story. So even when you get towards the end, you only then really understand what happened with all of these murders. And so not only are you trying to figure out the first murder, but also what is going on with the, the other murders that are happening as she comes home from jail. Okay. You were able to follow all of this. <clears throat> you are, yes. Okay. Cool, because I am lost. <laughs> what are but, you lost about? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, like, uh, when we're doing these kinds of descriptions, sometimes when we have all of these different juxtaposing elements and we can't really reveal them, I can't follow even the description. It's hard. It, it can be duff, but that, it can be duff. Very so, tough. told linearly... High school, murder, jail, release, more murders. Okay. Who? <laughs> you see? That's, that's helpful. <laughs> I get this now. All right. <laughs> it seems, especially since you do, like, we're seeing a lot of these nowadays where it's past, present, juxtaposed to kind of keep the story going and not reveal everything up front. Because if you do go with all of the knowledge of the past, it's going to take too long to get where you're going. But if you stay entirely in the present, it goes too quickly. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, and I think it could be okay. I think it seems like fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to tell you why <laughs> I have an unpopular opinion. People really like this book. I did not really like this book. And it really disappointed me because I liked Little Secrets. But this book, I felt like there were parts that I just didn't like. I I did not like the ending. I did not like the reveal of what actually happened in the present murders. The past murder was really interesting. How it all happened. Who exactly did it. All that. That was interesting. But the present murders, I was like, what? What? Sorry, uh, I gave this book three stars. It was great writing. I just didn't like the story. I didn't <laughs> at all. And um, ah, that doesn't mean that I won't l read more Jennifer Hillier because I really do like her stuff. But just this book was very disappointing to me, I think. Um, if it was just the story of the past murder, I probably would have been giving it a higher bump. 
Um, but yeah, that's basically what I felt about that one. So uh, yeah, until next time, uh, check Stay us down below and... Stay tuned. Bye.